Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial, Zotero Part 2, the Zotero Library. In this tutorial, you will learn how to organize your Zotero library to best meet your research needs. If this is your first time using Zotero, your library will be empty. Here is an example of a populated library. Your Zotero library is organized into three main columns. The first includes the main My Library, individual collections, and any sub-collections you create. Everything you add to Zotero will appear in the column called My Library. Collections are like playlists in that they are made up of items from your library. This means that items do not duplicate if you add them to multiple collections. One way to create and organize collections is by class or project. Here I'm going to create a new collection by selecting the folder icon in the top left-hand corner. Let's name this folder Sustainable Housing because I'm writing a research paper on this topic. Now when I'm doing my research for this paper, if I have this folder selected as I research, the sources I choose will be added to this subcollection. Let's add a source so you can see what I mean. You can also click and drag items to other collections. Notice the text box at the bottom of this column. Zotero retrieves and stores keywords from research databases and converts them into tags so that you can use it to search by themes in your Zotero library. You can also create your own tags. We'll go over this a bit later. The middle column is where the source titles are displayed. You can customize your display by right-clicking at the top of the columns. For example, you might want to select Creator to display alongside the title of the item. You can also remove any item in the library by right-clicking it and selecting Move Item to Trash. The third column includes the metadata of the records that allows Zotero to create in-text citations and bibliographies. Any section in this record may be edited or completed manually. You may also add notes in any item record. This can be helpful for keeping track of quotes or other details you want to refer to when working on a research assignment. Select the Tags tab to delete any pre-existing tags or add your own. Pre-existing tags are orange and new ones are blue so that you can tell them apart. I'm going to add a tag that says Sustainable Housing. The last tab allows you to relate one source to another. This could be helpful for reminding yourself when sources agree or disagree with each other. In this video, you got an overview of the Zotero Desktop Client's basic functions. For additional help, attend one of the library workshops by looking for class offerings at library.gmu.edu slash workshops. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.